everyone, Emmy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a camel. We're going to do it in the style of Franz Mark. Franz Mark was a really cool artist. He was a German artist. He did almost like expressionism, cubism almost. So he did lots and uh, he painted lots of animals and the animals he painted, he did them in different colours. So I'm going to show you some of the work that he did because it's just really interesting. We've got a horse there, quite a few horses, and they're blue. And can you see how he sort of cut them up into different sections? It's almost like a cubist effect, but he was an expressionism artist, so he did it in his own style. It's very, I find his work really energetic, so it's got a lot of life in his drawings, a lot of activity, his paintings as well as his drawings. That's a horse again. This cow's really cool. So it's a yellow cow, why not? Don't know if you can spot the animals in here, but we've got a deer, I think we've got two deer. Some people might not have any idea. <laughs> right, okay. What you're gonna need is, I wanna show you how to use a watercolor pencil. So we need a piece of paper, quite thick, so probably about 200 GSM. And which is quite thick, it's not that thick, but it's quite thick. And I've got some watercolour pencils here. So they're Caran d'Ache because I absolutely love Caran d'Ache. But you can use any watercolour pencils that you find. I do find Caran d'Ache, for me personally, they're better quality. Um, Faber and Castell are quite good as well. I'm sure there's others out there, but something about Caran d'Ache which I love. So. All we're going to do first of all is you want to plan your camel out. So we're going to do a real big circle. Now, if you can't get the circle right, all you need to do is just keep going around it. Go around it lightly because you're going to have to rub some of it out. And then you're just going to decide where you want to start the neck. So I'm going to go about there. And you want to go a little bit like a dinosaur. It just goes up. Go up, so it's, it does remind me of Land Before Time with the dinosaur, but it's not going to be that big the neck. And then, I don't know if you've been on a camel, but I went on a camel, I think it was in Spain, and it had a really big hump. Some camels have two humps, but this one's going to just have one. So we're just going to draw over the circle, so whatever looks good to you. And then we're going to give him a little bit of a tail. So it's a really small tail, it's not very, very big the tail. Then now it's the legs. So touch this bit here and you're going to go down, down to about here, then go out, then down. Because we're trying to create the, the back of the leg. So this is quite chunky, so we could probably go to about there. But you want to go up, if you can't go up just stay here. And you're going to go down. The legs have to be really thin because he's got really like, he's got really um, long, thin legs. So we want it to show as though he's got two legs. So just do a line there and then a little line in there. So it's just to show that there's two legs there. It doesn't matter how you do it too much. And then what we need to do is that line there, we're going to bring it up. quite easy to draw it if you think about it, it's the colouring that takes the longer. So we're just going to touch just where this joins here and go down. <sighs> Got chalk all over the place. <laughs> then just here, about there, so just la 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 and then go and go down. We're going to just do an other line just so it looks like he's got four legs just in case anyone sort of things but he's only got one or two it's like four legs there now we're going to take this line not that one but this one we're going to go up now you might find that he looks a little bit chunky which is fine you can keep it if you like but I think I'm going to make his stomach a little bit more smaller so I'm just going to do a line across so from that line to that line of the legs I'm going to go across and I'm going to bring this up so it's these two back lines up. Then 
I'm going to rub out. You need to just rub out of a normal eraser. I've got liquid Tipex, which isn't ideal, if I'm honest, because when I put the watercolour pencil, it's not going to look particularly great. So, but you haven't got that, so it's fine. So I'm going to rub out all this line. Rub out all this line. So you know the circle we did, the first circle? That's what you're rubbing out. You're rubbing out the line. So you want to rub this line out as well. Rub it out best you can. Then this line. Goodbye line, goodbye. We don't need you anymore. Thank you though. Gotta be thankful to the line. You know? Right, okay. So we've done that. Now it's the head. Now don't get scared, because some people find the head difficult, but it's fine. We're just gonna do this. Do if it helps. Do a shape that looks like that. So it's like a triangle. Just do that because it might be a bit easier for you. Then we're going to do an ear. Just about here. Just about here. So just do a little ear. Then we're going to do a nostril and we're going to do the eye and everything. But can you see where I've done the ear? You're going to go across but then down. Ooh. So you've made a bit of a hill and then you've gone down. Then when you've got to here, you're just going to go round. You see how I've done the mouth because the mouth on a, you said giraffe, mouth on a camel is slightly different. And then once I've done that nosy bit, I'm going to go into about there and do that. Then this takes over, so this is fine. Right, what I'm going to do is I'll show you what I'm going to rub out, because it might get a bit confusing for you now. So what I did was I did an ear, then I just put my pencil there and went, and then down, till I got to the end of the triangle. Then when I got to about there, went, and then I decided on that line where I want to start the lip, and went, and then carried on that line, carried on the, um, the triangle. So if you're not sure what I did, maybe go back, with the video, but ultimately, as long as you get a face that you quite like, because the head has to be roughly that shape. I'm rubbing out now, so just get some rubbers, get some erasers and rub that out. Okay, right. Now, he's got a little nostril, but quite a big one if you like. And I like to make him look like he's got a lay, not a lazy eye, but an eye where he's just not really too bothered. <laughs> Because they do look like that, don't they? It's like, give him an eye like that. Where he just looks like, yeah, okay. I don't mind. Almost like he's a little bit bored. Okay, so what we can do if you want is go around all the outside just to make sure it's what you want. Then, in the Franz Mark style, I am going to almost cut it up so think of it like a piece of toast and you're cutting up sections so there's one it's quite nice to think of it as shapes so you can make up any shapes you like triangles are quite nice aren't they i'm gonna give him a circle there It'd be quite funny i'm not going to do too many because you can do a lot but I'm not going to just because of the sake of the video and there's no need, but you could do a lot. I've got my, uh, at least said oil pastels, I've got my watercolour pencils. Now, everyone thinks that you dip them in the water, but if I'm honest, if you do dip them in the water, they crack because they're wooden. So, I've never dipped them in the water. Oh no. <laughs> I've never dipped them in the water, but I've dropped them on the floor. Um, I've never dipped them in the, wa in the water. <laughs> But, I'd probably say don't, there's no need. Um, what you're going to do is, I'm going to sharpen it just because mine are a bit, mine are a little bit um, blunt. And then what you do, think about, I'll try and show you. There's a fox there, I think. And it's got lots of different colours in there, really lovely. 
So the camel doesn't have to be the real colour. So I'm going to get the green. This is what I love about a watercolour pencil. Because you don't have to colour the whole shape. You could colour inside. You want to put the water at the end of colouring everything really. Because otherwise it gets a bit messy. But let's say I want to do a yellow now. So I'm doing it quite neatly. I'm rushing it a little bit just to show you. But this shape, I've done the whole of the outline of this shape. And then when I get the water, I'll do it now just to show you, but you want to do it at the end really. I'm gonna, it turns into paint. And my paper's not that thick, so bear with me. But if you touch, you've got to touch the colour, otherwise it won't spread. So you touch the colour and then you just colour inside. But I love the look where you've got the dark around the outside and the light inside. It just looks really nice. So you could choose the colour that's next to the other colour. So think about what colour is similar to red. What do you think it is? I would say orange, but some might say pink. Even purple's okay. But I like doing the lighter colour inside. Let's have a look at what that might look like. Ooh, I love the red. You might want to rinse out if there's too much colour on your brush, then come back. Because what will happen is the middle bit will look really light. It just looks, it just looks so good. Now, I'm going to do a purple. You could just stick with all the different greens and have the whole thing green. This bit's quite a chunky shape, isn't it, that one? Oof. When you're doing the edge around it, you want to make sure it's quite thick. Because if it's too thin, think of this pencil as paint in a, in a pencil. Because if you only put a bit, then you can't spread very much. Oh no, that's wrong. Let's do pink there because I made a mistake. Right, this bit, or this bit, I haven't done two colours, I've just done one. So let's see what it looks like. So I'm touching the purple to spread it. That's quite alright, doesn't it? Just bear in mind I've got that tip X, so it's going to look a bit odd, my one. But what you might find is if you don't touch the colour that you've actually put on your picture, it won't spread. So say for example, I've got a really cool red. Let's do it there. I've got a nice big red leg. Right, say I've done the red and I want to spread it. If I just do this, then nothing's going to spread. Can you see? It doesn't spread. But if I touch the red, then it really spreads. But if you don't want that much red, as I say, rinse the brush out and then touch it again. Because then it means it's lighter there. So have a go. I think, I don't know, I quite like the idea of greens. I haven't done blue yet, have I? You could even do three colours. So you could do green, yellow, you could do a green orange it's not quite the same is it? it might look a bit strange let's give it a go see what we come up with so this one i've colored all green around the edges orange and then yellow in the middle it might come out looking a bit weird yeah i don't know if i like that to be honest yeah it depends if you like stuff like that but i don't know if it looks good for me i don't like it i don't like it which is fine because it's good to I think it's good to try things. So if you want a monochromatic camel, which means one colour but different shades, you could have all dark blue, light blue, look really good. Oh, smudgy. Oh, I don't know why, but green is really calling me. It's saying I'm blue. I want you to use me because I'm a great colour. It's a nice colour, isn't it, green? Green used to be my favourite colour, actually. Um, I think it's turquoise now. I had to think about that one, didn't I? <laughs> but it's turquoise. I love turquoise. You could even do this. If you've got a big brush and you're going over it, 
because you've got colour on the brush, you could, if you want, colour like that. But the thing is, if you don't do the outline, it just doesn't look as good, I don't think. I'm just going to go over this fix, I forgot. Right. Weirdly, I quite like that now. <laughs> Isn't that strange? The very thing you think, no, I don't like. You then think, oh, I quite, quite like it. Right, I'm going to do the rest of the leg. So feel free to put the water at the end. Because as you can see, if I put it now and then I touch it, it's really hard to sort of not make a hole in the paper almost. So just be super careful. I would say put the water at the end, it's just easier. Can you see how that doesn't look as good? Because it's really light all the way round and you want to sort of make sure... I might have a, I have a green face. Maybe he's eaten something he doesn't like. <laughs> And also, if you do watercolour pencils and you want to go over them, make sure it's super dry. Like, even leave it for a day because what will happen is if you get this is wet, and if I go over, it doesn't smudge. I'll show you what I mean on a separate piece of paper, actually. So, say I want to smudge that squiggle I just did. I don't know if you can see it. If I do that, it just won't smudge in very well. It just it just never looks as good. When you get the water to smudge, smudge the shape. Because if you go like, if you go like, you won't keep the nice colours. So just, just take your time really. He does definitely look a bit ill, doesn't he? Bless him. <laughs> Bless the little thing. And then what you could do is mix, mix up some media which means I could use chalk for the background now. I might do that actually. Um, or you could do a really cool sunset theme of different colours. If you want to add more, you can. I quite like the idea of once it's dry, once it's completely dry, you can add black lines because that might look really cool. Or you could put shapes in them. So you could do zigzags or you could draw things in them like doodles. That might look quite cool actually. So there's my camel. What I'm going to do, just trying to think, I might get chalk. Nah. Do you know what? I don't want to get chalk. <laughs> I'm going to get this. Honestly, I saw this the other day. It's like the most cheapest paint ever. I think it was from the works if you live in England. And um, it's really good because it's just, you don't really want to use it for good things you just want to do it for like maybe backgrounds and stuff but I'm just gonna do a squiggle background with paint so what I'm doing it's like watercolour because it's watercolour paint but it's in a tube and I'm just going I don't know if you can see because I'm doing it a bit fast with my wrist but it's like I'm just la 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 and as I do it my brush runs out of paint and that's what makes it look more squiggly. It's quite cool. I like it anyway. You could choose any colour. I want to show you what happens if you draw. A okay, so this is what it looks like. If I take a piece of paper and I... So if I take a piece of paper and I do... Oh, okay, let's have a look. If I just go like that and put water, right, if I think, oh no, I want to put more on and I sort of go over it, then when you put the water, it just gets a right mess and it's like you can't get rid of the smudging. So I don't know if I've shown you that clearly, but ultimately don't go <laughs> over the wet of the watercolour when it's wet. So say I've just smudged that and I'm like, oh, no, I wanted it darker. So I'm gonna go around it more. So I'm going around it more whilst it's wet. Then I'm thinking, oh, now I can smudge it. Well, you can't because it's already in the wet. So you can never smudge that. So make sure when you're blending or smudging, which is the same thing, you want to um, do it and then put the water. Never put the water. Um, Never put the water and then colour over the top with a pencil because 
you can't blend it. I'm just doing this darker. Oh, I like the idea of, I don't know about you, I like making it darker here. What you could do is once this is dry, oh no, I just dropped my, pen to, my paint again. <laughs> right, is yours dry? Ask yourself, is it dry? Is it dry, Milou? Let's see. This is kind of dry, so what you could do, oh, I don't know what to do. I could get a really cool blue, like a darker one perhaps. It has to be dry. And, then you can't, and I could do the scribble effect over the top of the paint. It just has quite a fun kind of effect. Then get a pencil or something and you could sign your name. Da -da. So there we are. I hope that you like, is it crocodile? <laughs> hope you like my camel. Have a go yourself, like, subscribe and share, let me know what you do and um, yeah, sign up to some online lessons that I do as well, that'd be cool. See you soon, well done.